Hi everyone, this is Cindy Eiler and I'm here to give you my take on the coronavirus, the good, the bad, and the ugly. ugly and then go to the bad and then go to the good because I always want to finish with the good. So this is not a video about conspiracy theories or pointing fingers or making you believe what I believe. I am not about that. There are plenty of people on social media that are pointing fingers, blaming people, talking crap about people, thinking their way is the right way and we don't need more of that. I'm here to give you my thoughts about it. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't resonate. This is me. You're not me. So maybe you're going to like totally agree with me and maybe you're not. But what I am going to talk about is the energy and what's happening in your energy and the energy of this planet and universe. Because if you're on my channel, you know that's what I talk about. And not a lot of people are talking about that. So first I want to start with the ugly. Okay, this, the ugly of this coronavirus is everybody screaming and yelling on social media, trying to tell people, you know, what's happening, who's doing something wrong, who didn't do something fast enough, conspiracy theories about all kinds of things all of this ugliness where I call it ugliness maybe it's not ugly to you but it's not helpful okay let's just break that down really simple what you believe is what you are conceiving you are birthing that so if you're thinking some really gross things that are um, I, I think a lot of conspiracy theories are gross <laughs> but that's me. Um, I'm not saying that I don't believe in a lot of things, and I do have my opinion about things, but I'm not even going to go into that because it doesn't matter. What you believe is what you create. So if you are seeing such an ugly, gross world, and you are thinking so badly about so many people, wow, that is your inner world reflected around you. If you can even feel that in you and be okay thinking like that all the time, that is creating a really nasty energy inside of you. Now, that's just me. If you like it, you should do it. But you shouldn't like go around posting things on, well, I shouldn't tell you what you shouldn't do. You should do whatever you're gonna do. But I would say it's not helpful to uh, post things that are fearful, disgusting, um, whatever, and say that this is the truth. You might think it's just true, whatever, that's fine. Think it's true, that's your business. I can't change you, I'm not here to change you. But when you're saying these things, you're just adding more noise to the world. If people want to believe a conspiracy theory, or not a conspiracy theory. If they want to believe the president, if they want to believe some healer, if they want to believe whoever, Jill, Jack, or Jane is giving their belief, everybody can decide for themselves what they want to believe. Like why is it so important for, for you to try to change somebody into believing what you believe? So, I mean, I'm not trying to put anybody on edge. I'm just saying, be aware of how you're contributing to this world, to the society, to the fear frenzy. I would say, I don't care what your belief is, everybody's an adult and everybody has the ability to look for the information that is right for them. A lot of people are just blasting out their opinions and I don't particularly agree with a lot of them. And maybe people don't agree with me either. But what I think is more important is if you're going to share something is to lessen the fear frenzy because if you keep adding to the fear frenzy you're part of the problem 
and you are creating elongation of this issue okay so that is just ugly why do you want to contribute in a negative way you might say I'm trying to um, share awareness we are all adults we have the ability to research and see things for ourselves and make our own decisions let people make their own decisions who made it your job okay okay now the the bad the bad is what we're dealing with I mean I I believe that there's bad and good in everything there's a reason why this is happening and and we what we need to do is to practice all of the things that we have learned over our life is how to manage stress how to manage whatever comes our way in the best way that's going to be most healthy for us and for the world around us okay I don't think anybody likes what's going on no it's inconvenient it's a hassle people it's awful people are dying and I am in no way minimizing this situation because obviously this is not a situation to minimize at all it's obviously a thing because this is pretty traumatic what's going on worldwide people have died and when I say this I'm not minimizing anything but how many people die of cancer every day how many people die of diseases every day if we kept posting every single newspaper obituary an article about who died how many deaths die 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 do you know how there would be nothing else we have people dying every day again I am not minimizing this at all it's terrible I don't want anybody to die from coronavirus or any other illness I don't want that but if it's if that's the thing then that's the thing you know all I'm saying is every time you post an article about who died or how many people are dead now and you're not even even posting about the people who have gotten better or any of the facts about the things that are good that are happening what you focus on is what you're gonna see more of so every time you click on an article and share that article like on Facebook that talks about somebody that died you're gonna start getting more in your feed about who's dying that's just the way it works you're what you're clicking on what you're reading you're going to get more of that in your feed I'm not saying you know shut up don't post who's dying but you are feeding more death in essence you're actually creating more death because you're focusing on wow this died die 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 so more people are going to keep dying and you're going to keep sharing more people things about death so yeah what you're focusing on is what you are going to see more of that is just basics like I don't need to convince you of that and if I do then you need to do some studying on quantum physics all that stuff okay we again we are all adults if we want to see the stats of how many people are dying we are all very capable to go on Google and look that up we don't need to share that constantly all day and all night on Facebook or wherever you're posting things we are capable human adults that can look up facts and figures for ourselves. when you're posting something ask yourself is this going to lift people or is this going to scare people because if you continue to scare people you are going to you are just showing your fear you are going to continue to scare yourself and you are going to continue to create a scared society and being in fear and being scared I guess those are about the same things it's just going to keep breeding and breeding and breeding and we're not going to get through this thing very fast if that's what we're breeding we have to talk about how good you feel how healthy you are the things that you're doing to stay healthy giving helpful 
information about that, like, you know, creating a positive post about how to help yourself or how you're doing, how you're managing, what support you might need, instead of just posting things that are going to create more fear and doubt and upset. Like, I know I want to get through this, and I'm pretty sure you do too. The other bad thing, and I probably, yeah, I, I would put this under the category of bad, are seeing so many people that are not listening to the request to isolate yourself. It's really, really selfish that there are so many people doing their part, staying in or going out if you need to get something. I'm not saying don't go out. Go out if you need to get something. Here, the city is saying the park is open, the beach is open, get outside, just stay at your distance. Like, that's not a, a big deal, but I was driving today to take my mom to the doctor and I'm seeing restaurant parking lots full and I'm thinking, what is wrong with these people? This is really irresponsible and selfish. Taking your kids to places where kids all play, I don't know what you call those places, but like the trampoline places and the playgrounds and they're all touching everything. That is irresponsible. The reason why schools are closed is so children can stay home. If it was okay for them to go to playgrounds and go to these places, touching everything, getting into everything, then they should just be at school. Like, it's really common sense. I think it's very, very irresponsible when people are, oh, I don't have to listen. I'm not going to do that. Because you know what, there are though a lot of us that are listening, and I want this to be over. And the more you're out there not listening and spreading germs around and doing whatever you're doing, the longer we're going to be in this situation. And that's not fair to anyone. So I think that's highly irresponsible and that everybody needs to do their part. So let's move to the good. The good is everyone needs to just do their part. I don't think everybody needs to be in a big fear frenzy. Sure, you can acknowledge that this is a problem. You could, some people are really in a lot of fear and that is up to you, but that's not going to help you. Do what you need to do. Stay away from people and I'm recommending, and I'm no doctor, but from what I'm seeing right now is like for at least three to four weeks, pull back and stay away from other people. Yes, if you need to go to the store, go to the store. Don't hoard things, obviously. That's not helping either. But, you know, be mindful. Go in, get what you need, and get out. Spend time outside, maybe in your backyard or whatever, to get sunlight and fresh air. Continue to take care of your immune system you know, your vitamin C, whatever that routine is for you, that's something that I do every day, regardless of what's going on. So I haven't changed that, and hopefully you've been doing it too, because if you're just starting to build your immune system now, I would definitely be away from other people. If you have been building all along, then you have a little more built up and stamina. So take care of yourself and stay connected to other people. Make phone calls, do FaceTime, do whatever you need to do. But just, you know, stay back a little bit for three to four weeks and let's hash this out a little bit, okay? Now, energetically, the energy is crazy. Every night I go to bed and I feel this anxiety in the, that's like, I feel the anxiety weigh, weighing on me. And of course that comes from looking at Facebook and my environment. If you are sensitive to energy, you are going to be feeling this in your energy. You might be fearful, but it may not even be really your fear. It's just you picking up on the energy that is everywhere and all the frenzy and all of that so every night i'm clearing and clearing and resetting the energy and sending lots of light and lots of love 
And that would be a really helpful thing for you to do every day as well. Make sure you're cutting cords, sending energy back to where it needs to go, calling your energy back, letting it cleanse in the divine light and anchoring your energy back to yourself and just take care of you. Make sure you're doing some meditation, taking some quiet contemplation time. Now is the time to do that. You actually have the space and time to do that. So energetically, that is a thing. The more people that can help encourage other people to be more positive, remind people to be more positive, share positive words, uh, the more you do that, the more that would, will build, and that's going to support us through this better than just throwing out a bunch of fearful stuff. The other thing is, there is a good about this, and that is, this is really teaching people how to have personal space and boundaries, and I think that's a really good thing, because... In this world, a lot of people don't understand what personal space is and what boundaries are. And now you're being forced to learn how to be in your own space, in your own boundary, in your own mind, in your own energy. You're getting a lot of distractions taken away from you. And that's probably what's freaking a lot of people out without them knowing that they're afraid to not be distracted anymore. Being distracted, you don't have to think about how you need to change your life, what you could do to better your life, what relationships aren't working for you, what you could be doing to thrive more, how you can fix the things that need fixing in your life. Now that all these distractions are taken away, it's making you start to see yourself a lot clearer. And that makes people really uncomfortable. And this is something that I do every day. I work on myself every day in this way because this is my work. I help my clients with this, and a, but there's a lot of people that do not feel comfortable having to have quiet time and contemplation time and having space and time to look at their life. So realize that having learning to, your own personal space, having boundaries, having your own time to yourself a lot more is a good thing it's something that i don't like to say should but you are a lot better off in your life if you do this as a normal practice but if you have always just been distracted running around busy not paying attention just living you know moment to moment doing things until you're just exhausted and go to sleep you're missing out on a lot of wonderful self-growth and personal development. And that is a really important area in your life that now you can look at. It's also getting globally everybody to understand their space, understand where they are, understand having their country to their, themselves to their country. And it's kind of making everybody go back home and deal, be where you're being, learning how to be, how to be where you're being. This is also a good thing. It's okay, it's different and it feels foreign and it feels unknown, but it doesn't have to feel bad. You just have to go with the flow, get into the flow. So I am recommending that everybody live your life like you do with these adjustments that we have to make. In the meantime, this is a perfect time to start thinking about what you want in your life, really what you want to feel in your life, see in your life, because when all this energy is moving like this, it's the perfect time to get really clear about that, because when energy is moving, it'll take what you want and it'll bring it into those shifting energies and when things land, that stuff that's important to you will land a lot closer to you or it'll land right into your lap. So that is the really good part about it. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about these things. And I hope that you 
will understand where I'm coming from and see how these things could be beneficial to you. If you have any questions, go ahead and put, put it in the comments below. I'm going to be posting this on YouTube and Facebook and uh, probably Instagram. And I'll look at those, I'll read everything and, and get back to any questions you have. I am also going to come back with a video about how to help people who are self-employed that are worried about their money situation. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you will get that video when it's up. So thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. We will get through this. We just need everybody to band together in a supportive way and help each other stay in a good place until we're through this. All right, take care, lots of love, and peace out.